cricket through the ages. Ten thousand years ago, humankind teetered on the edge of extinction. Then, cricket was invented. In 1877, the game was finally perfected and became humankind's most beloved pastime. As the Earth's resources dwindled, humankind 
took cricket to the stars. But space travel proved to be expensive. Was humanity willing to pay the price? Without cricket, humanity awaited its inevitable demise. through the ages. In the year 1915, cricket was at the center of a royal tragedy. Queen declared cricket is dangerous and bowling at other cricketeers was forbidden. Try to bowl at the wicket instead of at the batsman. But aiming for wickets quickly became boring, and so cricketeers decided to aim for the sky. Score points by hitting the ball out of the stadium.
The Queen also declared that both sides should have a chance to bat. After six balls are bowled or the other batsman is bowled out, the other chap gets a turn to bat. With the rules perfected, it was time to play some cricket.
During the finals of the 1933 Ashes World Cup, in the final ball of the final over, the bowler stepped on the ball. To everyone's amazement, he bowled a perfect ball. And the crowd did something they had never done before. They cheered. The Queen saw this and made football the new sport of England. By 1935, angry football mobs roamed the streets of England. The cricketers took refuge indoors where it was safe. The rules of cricket adapted to these new harsh conditions. Their old balls were too fast, so they attached little parachutes to slow them down. Serve the ball towards the opponent. To score a point, the ball needs to bounce on your opponent's side twice. The first to five points wins. And so cricket became Royal Badminton.
humankind continued to invent increasingly deadly forms of cricket. But their bloodlust couldn't be satisfied. The goal is to advance until you cross your opponent's line. Tap to advance and attack the enemy. Hold for a moment to throw a grenade. The first to three points wins. In 1939, all the world met to determine who was the best at cricket. <laughs> 